While sailing around, you might stumble across a couple of strange fellows. They're isolated on a body of rocks, kind of ethereal, and well, they don't have a face. Yeah, that's pretty strange. But you know what they do have? Books. And pursuits to catch fish, but most importantly books, because knowledge is power. Without further ado, this is a guide showing you how to complete all of the hooded figure pursuits in Dredge. So there's a total of four of these guys spread all throughout the map on Dredge, and you can find them at any point throughout the game, but beyond just having the right fishing rods, there are some other things to consider as well. For each of the hooded figures, they're all time-gated. As soon as you start the request and get the current fish you're working on, if you can't get the next fish in time, the pursuit will end and you'll be unable to complete it for the rest of your playthrough. With that in mind, I'd recommend catching all the fish you need first before even approaching the figure. That way you don't have to worry about the timing of it and you should be able to get all of them no problem. So for each of the four hooded peeps, I'm going to start by showing you a map of where to find each of the fish and then walking through the specifics for each one to make sure that you get the books without the time running out. The first one you might stumble upon and ultimately mess up if you're like me and you just can't, you don't know where to catch specific fish, is going to be the blue hooded figure, hanging out pretty close to Little Mara. You can see on the map where exactly to find him and you're going to have to catch a blue mackerel, tiger mackerel, and snake mackerel to satisfy this grizzly customer. All of these fish can be caught with coastal rods, but the blue and tiger mackerel are only only available during the daytime, so make sure to factor that in. Once you give the figure all he needs, you'll be rewarded with Haggling and Bartering, a guide, which will increase your sell price by 5% and reduce all costs by 5% as well. Next up, we have the Gold Hooded figure, which will require you to catch a Red Snapper, Fangtooth, and Blue Crab. I'd recommend you start things off by dropping a Crab Pot in the Stellar Basin. Anywhere with a depth of 0 to 5 meters will do perfectly. Since Crab Pots do take time to actually catch the crabs, you don't want this to be the reason why you run out of time and ultimately fail the pursuit. Suit. For the fish, the red snapper is coastal and can be caught during the daytime, and the fang tooth will require an abyssal rod, so make sure you've done what you need to do in the stellar basin to get this bad boy. Once you've got the fish, the hooded figure will fork over the advanced fishing book, which will increase all rods efficiencies by 15%. That also does help out with this quest if you think about it. Now we're going to be taking our talents all the way to the north side of the map, and we've got the red hooded figure located in the middle of Devil's Spine. This is kind of a strange one, so I'd start things out with the furthest fish out. The sailfish, which is oceanic and can only be caught during the day closer to Little Marrow than Devil's Spine. Next up is the frilled shark, which is volcanic and can be caught at any time of the day. And last but not least is the cusk eel, which is also volcanic and can only be caught during the nighttime. Then, the red hooded figure will hand over the nautical engineering book, which will reduce the durability of all your equipment by about 15%. And I mean that it, you use 15% less, not that everything is 15% less total HP. You understand what I mean. Last but not least, the hardest, in my opinion, hooded figure, the purple guy, is hanging out close to the Twisted Strand. But the thing is, these fish are really spread out, and you're going to be going all the way down to Stellar Basin to make sure you catch all three of them. First up, you're going to need a horseshoe crab, which you should deploy the crab pot as soon as possible just to make sure you catch one in about a 0 to 10 meter depth in Twisted Strand. Then you're going to be looking for a barrel eye, which is pretty plentiful, but is so far south that it's basically just outside the Stellar Basin, and you can catch it with an abyssal rod at any time of the day. Then you'll also have to catch a tarpon, which is pretty close to the hooded figure, and can be caught with a shallow rod any time of the day as well. When you've got all three, then head back to the purple figure and you'll be rewarded with pushing the limit engines, which, you guessed it, will improve your engines. This is going to make all of your engines go 7.5% faster than they did previously. And there you have it. All of those pesky timed hooded figures will be completed and you're going to be better with it for all those wrinkles in your brain that you're going to get by reading all those books. Comment if you successfully pulled this off without the kite. If you did that, hats off to you. I don't know how you were able to do that one. And like and subscribe if this video helped you. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you later.